Okay, hi, good day. This is the Nokaik from over in Apple.com. So, right now we're going to be creating an automated trading extension. Um, currently, right now, I'm already logged out from every single account. So, we can do this afresh. So, I'm going to teach you how to create an automated extension. So, for those who don't know what an automated extension is, it's simply something that will be doing a particular thing for you automatically. So, this is my um, computer, for instance. If I click here, I think this is it. If I click here, you're going to see a software that tells you free virtual football um, um, auto trading. So what this stuff really does is it keeps on playing games automatically. That's for Bet Ninja. So we're going to be creating something like this. I've already uninstalled my Binance, and that's my Binance, my current Binance strategy, my current Binance extension, and that's because I want to teach you from fresh how to go about it your own way. So let's get back to my video, my Visual Studio Code. The first and the most important thing to do is to create up a folder if you don't really have one. So to do that, click here and go to Open Folder. So you should probably just open up folders of my previous stuff. So I'm just going to come here and create a new folder. Let's call this folder. Let's call it um, Binance extension you can actually name it whatever you feel like but let's just call it binance extension and yep that is it so now i've actually created the binance extension practically right now um what we just created was a folder so the first and the most important thing to create is what we call a manifest.json so if you're a programmer you should already know what json is you're already familiar with it if you're not new into if you're not familiar with programming it might really sound weird but a manifest.json is simply a file that contains information about what your software application does so for instance if you download google chrome from the web it has a manifest.json that simply says oh i'm google chrome i'm a web browser if you download um facebook from the web the manifest of JSON file will simply say, oh, I'm Facebook and um, I am a social media network, something like that. So we're going to be creating our own manifest of JSON file that will simply say, oh, I am a Binance automated trading software and this is who created me, this is my version number and what not have you. So we're going to be creating a manifest of JSON file. So we're currently on the folder Binance extension, you can see it here. The first thing to do is to click on this new file and um, create manifest.json. So this is going to be the first and the most important file we're going to be creating. So once you're on manifest.json, all you simply have to do at this particular point in time is to um, practically uh, what's it called? Is to practically start filling the details you'll be needing. So one of the one of the major details we're going to be needing right now is our manifest version. So why do you really need a version? Um, each time you create a new extension, you might be moving from one version to another. So for instance, Facebook might have version 8.0, then version 8.5, version 9.0, version 9.5. So the essence of having um, an extension um, version, sorry, the the the, es and the essence of having an a version number is to keep track of your um, extension so if you keep if you don't have a version number even if you bring new products people might not really be able to know which is the latest they might still be using the old version because there is no version number to track um, your what is it called your extension so we're going to create a version number so the way JSON works if you're a programmer you should already know how it works but if you're not a programmer JSON works in by first putting on a bracket so I'm going to put one bracket but the way Visual Studio Code works once you put a bracket it opens it and it closes it like this is this now can be called this first one is called the opening bracket and this one is called the closing bracket so anything that stays or anything that is inside this bracket is our JSON file so uh, yeah, right now inside our brackets, I'm going to be creating the first thing which is our manifest version. So, to do it, you say manifest. This is manifest. You do an underscore version. So, once you put your manifest version, um, this is just our own trial. So, let's just call it version 1.0. If we end up building more and more tomorrow will be increasing it. Or let's, just, let's just call it version 1 or let's okay no no sorry manifest version refers to the version of um, manifest version refers to the version of this 
what is it called our manifest what kind of extension are you creating so normally we're supposed to be using two um just do this particular one this one is actually very very mandatory manifest version um you put a, a colon and two um the rest can be different you can actually tune the rest to what you want but this manifest underscore version is for our extension for google chrome to know okay we're using um um version two configuration because every single extension has how it's been built once upon a time we're using version one in creating extension now we want to start creating a, an extension using version two this is not something that you should actually just know anyway it's not that important you just know that you should put manifest underscore version and the first one has to be two so the next thing we're going to be writing right now is the name of our extension so i'm going to just simply say um then you can give away because this is my own way of giving back to the society i want to teach people how to start creating automated stuff so let's just see then okay give away and then a quick binance giveaway so let's go to name and on our name i'm going to simply say um danny okay binance giveaway okay so sorry yes okay so this is it so now we have given this the name um if you install this on a computer it will be showing you daniel keg binance giveaway so if you're doing this on your own computer you can use your own name to give it whatever extension you feel like if you feel like selling it you can use your company name to say oh um susan so enterprise binance auto trading whatever you want but this is basically the name of the software um the following thing is your description you have to write a description of what this automated extension is going to be doing so let's come here first of all put description if you notice there's something we've been doing we first put in something then we put a colon and then describe it like manifest a, um, a colon to name a colon then okay binance giveaway description a colon followed by what we're describing that is how json works json works in you're listing something you put the colon and what that thing is so keep that in mind if you're new to programming because i'll be teaching a whole lot and lot of tutorials regarding programming so um description let's simply say um extension binance extension to buy and sell um to binance extension to trade to to trade btc to us usdt so let's just say something like that description no description should be explicit this um automated okay trading no this automated binance trading extension okay buys and sells then you cannot put in brackets trades then you do btc usdt so if anybody gets to see the description of this extension they should be able to know upfront what this extension does so that's why it's actually necessary to put um, what is the code again to put a description so now the next thing to do is to put a version no remember the first time we made a mistake at the beginning this uh, manifest version is something that we're supposed to be using manifest um semicolon 2 this one is normal the the main version i was talking about which is like version 1.0 2.0 this is where it comes in so let's come here and say version which is this is our own version so what f what, what version are we creating um let's call this version let's call this version 1.0.0 so i'm just giving you 1.0.0 because if i do another update tomorrow i'll do 1.0.0.1 no let me just do 1.0 if i release another update tomorrow it's 1.1 if i release another one next tomorrow 1.2 another one next tomorrow 1.3 so if somebody's using 1.1.3 and they now see 1.8 they know automatically that 1.8 has more futures than 1.3 so that's the, that's the major benefit of um having this extension please let me check if my audio is going well let me check my audio hello okay my audio is clean so most times you record videos and then the audio doesn't capture okay so it's, it's always very paramental or very much important to always have your version numbers so um now we're putting our version numbers the next thing to do is to put in what we we'll call a background script. So, um, whenever you you have an extension, it runs at the background of your of your browser. So let me just give you an instance. For instance, um, we 
if we are doing something here okay so let's say for instance this is our browser if we create up an automated but uh, automated trading extension it's going to be running at the background of this binance so at the background of the binance it's going to be running 24 7 monitoring the price doing so many things so you need a background script or a background um a, a script here yeah, that's what's called a background script I know this whole thing sounds like it's difficult, but I promise you that if you keep on watching my videos and you keep on doing every single thing I teach, there will be a point when you will start even creating extensions for people. Just make sure you, you keep following every single thing I'm telling you to do. And if you have any questions, you can always ask with the um, comments um, box. I'm going to be answering as many questions as possible, depending on whenever I'm free okay so now we have done our version number which is 1.0 we need to create a background script this background script is something i'll be running at the background like i stated um this one is quite confusing for people who are already familiar with programming they'll be able to understand it but for people who don't know much about programming it might be really be difficult but i don't mind teaching um i'm going to be teaching if you have any questions if you're confused i'll explain more so this background script it won't just be having a semicolon and then one thing it's going to be having a semicolon that will have another semicolon that's why i say it's kind of confusing because we're not nesting an object i shouldn't go far but we're not putting in a json inside another json i think that way it will be easier that is because the background script can contain so many other things so let's just type it first um background so the background right now we've typed our background um our colon then instead of putting in like um hey hey hey, hey or something we're going to be putting in um another object or let's another another what is it called again another json inside so why am i really adding much or why am i doing this if i decide to if i i can also use one i can just come here and simply say oh what is the background the background is going to be um background or let's just say keep uh, watching watching dot yes um let's just say I, I can actually say this but the thing is i want this software or i want this background script to be watching the price of things 24 7. so i need to tell my browser that como this particular background script it will be running 24 7 oh it won't stop oh and i want it to be monitoring the price 24 7. so because of that i need to actually add another thing that thing is called persistence i need to tell you that it has to be persistent it has to be running at the background 24 7. so that is why i'm no longer typing it just like this i'm not putting it inside another json so if you want to add more things you can add um more or you can add a what is it called a json like this is my name um sorry this is the name of the manifest the name of the extension sorry this is the name of the extension the name of the extension is daniel cake binance giveaway it's just one name if i want to add, actually add more things inside this name i cannot put a bracket but there is no need but now it's background we need to do it so just basically it might not really be making a whole lot of sense for you but just keep doing whatever i'm doing and i promise you that i will try as much as possible best to explain it let me zoom in so it'll be easier for you all to understand so let me zoom in more and more and more for those people who don't use um who can't stream in high quality okay now so this is it so my background right now um the first thing i need to put on my background is the scripts um the script is simply the code that will be running at the background so i'm going to come here and i'm going to put scripts this is what will be running at the background mm, I, I want to make sure all my videos one of them goes above 15 minutes so let me check if this is above 15 minutes i will stop it and record another one this is 13 minutes so just know that once it's close to 15 minutes i will stop it and record an episode two so i don't want any video to be above 15. i think 10 minutes should even be enough but let's just keep it 15 minutes at the cap so my background script will not be um let's call it watching why am i calling it watching because i want it to be watching i just I, you can call it anything honestly but i just want to call it watching so whenever i see watching i know this is a particular code or a script that watches you know the price and um fluctuation of btc and usdt so let's just come right uh, and say watching so i'm going to be giving it a name called watching sorry we we'll use um, two brackets when it comes to json watching so this watching.js 
I'm adding .js and I'll give you examples. Um, I'll give you reasons why I'm doing that. I'm sorry if this video is kind of annoying for programmers, but for people who are just new to it, I want to make it as easy as possible. So I'm going to explain it on episode two. You can see this is almost 15 minutes. So please check back episode two. I'm going to be talking much about creating this extension.